So at this point, we've killed the second boss. I came back. Now we have the grappling hook. I'm not necessarily sure if this is the total right way to get here. No, it's not, but that is sort of a second door. So actually, we probably should um, either take that thing back. This one will warp you to a specific place. And this one down here will let you go where you like. You can choose. So we'd like to go... Holy moly. Look at the size of this map. Oh, is there even one up there? <laughs> this is... What? No, no! Oh, I didn't awaken the uh, that translocator point. Is Returnal connected to Metroid? No, but it really feels like Metroid. One of the best descriptions I heard about it is somebody said, it feels like if Psygnosis made Metroid. And Psygnosis was a, uh, a PlayStation 1 developer. See, we got this thing now. Woo! And they loved flashing lights. And they made great shooters. They made this amazing sci-fi shooter game called uh, Colony Wars. So, that makes a lot of sense. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, that's... See, that's the first shortcut that we've seen in this game. Which is pretty cool. So it lets you skip this whole big area. Which is pretty nice. So many have fallen. Hey -ya! That one's fun. So now this, all, this also opens up a whole bunch of areas that we first started with. Uh, in the first area. Where we can... There we go. Where we can access different spots. Oh, it didn't lose my adrenaline. Oh my god. The game is so kind. Daryl Robson! Here we go, babies. Alright, third biome, baby. Daryl, welcome. I'm loving this game. I... I... There's... Almost every single bit of it, I think, is so well done. Sound design. Well, first off, game feel. Like, moving around, jumping, traversing, shooting, the weapons, the enemies, the dashes, um, the look of it, the sound design, everything is so perfect. The only thing I don't like is that this, this slavish mentality to it being a roguelike and always sending you back can make it feel tedious. However, on the way to the second boss, which is you have to go through the first level to get to the second level, then from the second level you gotta get to the second part of that, they do introduce a shortcut. Now we've got this thing, so we can, uh, we've got the grappling hooks, so we can go back and check out some other things. There's a lot of tentacles. So these tentacles that are on you, Prince, these all give you some kind of a benefit. But they also can give you a, a debuff. And it'll be something like, your melee is 50% or whatever. Well, there's ba yeah, there's basically no saving other than, like, accomplishing the things. The teleportation gateway in the desert has taken me into the citadel, beyond the forest's massive wall. So I'll be interested to see if they do anything like... If you introduce more shortcuts. I just think, did it need to be a roguelike? What if you just had... What if it was more challenging? And, and more scripted, more linear? White Shadow is nearly within me. Scans show that the broadcast originates from the tower inside a citadel-like complex. When you die, you lose just about everything, yeah. But what they do is, so when you get to the second area, for example, the first thing you pick up is, do you see... Okay, behind my head here, there's a six. So that starts at zero. That's kind of like your level. 
So you, you up your proficiency, usually a little bit at a time, so that whenever you grab a weapon, that weapon is now a level 5 or a level 6. And when you start in an area, usually there'll be something in the second area there was that immediately bumps you up to like a level 5 or a 6. But it's also about getting your adrenaline going, which is this part here. That little, um, like, heart monitor. That builds up for killing enemies without getting hit. It bumps you up. So now you're doing massive amounts of damage. So it's actually more important to have that boosted. See, here's more weapon proficiency. So now we're up to level 9. So your next weapon will come in. So they'll probably give you this every time you get to this third area. I would think. But I would not... Like, I would be pretty bummed after have to run all the way back from the beginning. To get here again. But we'll see. So if you just relax... You can, you can enjoy it because they do randomize the first area. So that can make it more interesting. You're going to get different buffs and, and debuffs. So that's going to be something interesting. This is a... They have a lot of these gates in the first couple sections too. I, re I really love the platforming in this game. Which is... For a 3D game that isn't Mario, it's pretty tough. Can we get up there? Whoa! This kind of reminds me of uh, Titanfall. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess there's sort of this idea of... Um, well, the character in your game keeps looping, so it's like... So that works with it being a roguelike, but like I've said a few times in these recordings and streams, every single game, you could you could apply that. You could have Mario wake up after he dies and go, Ooh, uh, I am a caught in a death loop. Uh, why? I fell in a pit, I'm back alive. Doomed to forever. Wander the Mushroom Kingdom. What is the meaning of life? If there is no death. Yeah, I think Mario had too many mushrooms. So ether is one of the few things that goes on. That's in the bottom right, the top number two I have. Use ether to... so I can cleanse this so... like this is gonna be... I can cleanse this so that it won't give me a malfunction. And there's a moderate chance of getting a malfunction. There's probably going to be something good in here. Okay. So I didn't get a malfunction. So if I get hit and I lose my adrenaline, this will give me an automatic five levels of adrenaline. Which is pretty handy. Like, I wonder, would this... Would the game have ended up being, like, too slow or something? If... Or too small? If it wasn't uh, a roguelike? Would it have really been... There we go. So while if you're not moving, minus 75% weapon damage. And you can get rid of that by collecting resources. So that'll take us just like a few kills or whatever. Ah. Because what's going to happen is, like, the first time you come through, it's going to be this slow, awe-inspiring experience. And then you're going to have to come through here, like, 20 more times. <laughs> you know? Well, there we go. I mean, these guys are, like, big fans of old-school arcade actions, so I can see why they want it to be slavish to it. I just really don't think it was needed, but I'd say there's only there's only I'd say there's only been one time, one kind of point where I thought, oh, I wish this wasn't a, a roguelike, and that was trying to get to the second boss, and that only took me a few times to get to the second boss. So I'll res I'll reserve judgment on that as I play through, but yeah, it does seem like why? Oh, these are fun. I like the way they dole out the story. I like the story. This is it. The 
journey is almost over. Oh, is it? The origin of White Shadow is right here. Soon I'll know why, and and bury these horrible memories in the past. So much desolation. Is this their city? It's only inhabited by corpses, broken machines. I'm heading towards the broadcast tower now. We will get to the end and there'll be the Statue of Liberty. Or a similar recognizable uh, the Eiffel Tower for you Europeans. Uh, I like collecting these things and reading them. We never meant for the war to destroy so much. We were only trying to communicate. But in the end, everything went too far. We should not have followed the creator destroyer. This kind of reminds me of when Lena was doing uh, Nightbot lore. Where do you go? You're just a spot. Okay. See, the last time I saw one of those gates, that was at the foot of the mountain in the second biome. And it was a really... It was the first time we'd seen, like, a big, useful... Oh, boy. It's a big, useful shortcut. Ho, 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 ho! Whoa! Adrenaline reset. Not good. Holy fucking shit. No! Yeah, Prince. That was a lot of fun. But then you think, how many times do you want to do that? I don't know. Oh! A number 11! So when you got these stars by the weapons, that's how many of those little white boxes are going to fill up. So you... not necessarily something being better. And then you got... just because it's a higher number. This one's got overload projectiles. Up the ass. Fire rate. Lots of bonus damage. We'll take it. I like the pistol. I used to hate the pistol because... It, oh, it has burst fire now. Yeah, so we unlock burst fire. I used to have to, like, tap the button a million times, which really screwed up the overload. Which is this. The Gears of War fast reload. Alright, that was awesome. What's our reward? It's a... A tropian key. Very valuable. Shabadu. No load, baby. No load. The future of gaming has arrived. Fuck you, Dolphin. Did you guys see that uh, Chinese rocket landed? The one they were worried about. They said, we have no idea where it's going to land. It landed in the Indian Ocean.
Oh boy. Ah, no! Adrenaline gone! Son of a bitch, Kamikaze! The Divine Wind. The Duke says, oh yeah. They want to kill me by killing themselves. Fixes or prevents a malfunction. Detaches afterwards. Reduces your healing rate by 15%. Oh no, not your healing, your proficiency. Uh, I don't know if I want that. Well, why not? Malfunction removed. And then it falls off, so you don't have to have the problem anyway. Cool. So the parasites, yeah, they'll give you a buff and a debuff at the same time. And then the debuff, you need to do some kind of um, some kind of activity to get rid of. So whether it's collecting a certain amount of resources, whether it's doing a certain amount of melee kills or something. I don't know if I can stand in the water yet. And I don't want to risk it. Just to get those... Maybe I can shoot it. No. No, you can't. I have no idea. Oh, this will heal me. Yeah, it sometimes gives you story. Don't crush your parasites. Mm. That was nice. I know if you go in deep water, it's, it's like falling off into a pit. Oh, boy. Uh, but there are, there's lots of times where there's items in the water, so there must be a way to eventually get it. Translocator active. Yeah, you should feel bad for tricking me like that. Yippoo! I feel like I'm playing Mario Galaxy. A scout log. I'm staring into a breached wall. Behind the stonework are arteries of machinery, similar in structure to the robotic sentinels. If I peeled back my skin, what would I discover hiding inside? I That's like that. disgusting. <laughs> I don't ever want to experience what she has. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope that's foreshadowing peeling back her own skin later on. I hope, I hope, I hope. Alright, where to go next? Well, we need to get up higher and get the chist. Maybe we need to peel back our skin and get up here somehow. Double jump. Become a robot. Very H.R. Geiger, eh? Alright, that's a double jump lady. Don't worry, he'll be back here many, 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 many times. Don't look at me. Watch out for those. Discovered item. A thermogenic launcher. Critical rockets. Gotta unlock that. What the hell is this all about? Oh, it's got a nice big overload. It's 
section. I like how those, um... The way the three bullets are underneath the targeting reticule look like old ships and <clears throat> Space Invader games. Hmm. Black and red. Do I need to aim? Yes, you do. Now, there were, there were robots in a previous area that wouldn't attack me. I wonder if now they're going to become violent. That's actually another way this reminds me a bit of Nier. This idea of, like, a war with robots ruining their civilization. Yes, repairs moderate damage, but is infected with malignancy. No problem. Ooh, what are... When that when that thing just filled up your health bar and the and the base dropped away, it was so so cleansing. Such a nice feeling. You want a key? In your little slit here, locked gate. What's in here? A shield. Mm, I wanna get over there. How do I get over there? It's rarely a puzzle to get across. The robot uprising has begun. Well, there's just robots and, like, tentacle monsters everywhere. So I wonder what they have in common. And then these guys are all dead. But then they sometimes come back and they work together. Are they going to explain that or is it just going to be... Oh. It's just going to be like, ah, video games. They were, they were there, they were there, who cares? Atataka! This is the first time I've had a bit of a puzzle for traversal. That isn't more of just like a straight up challenge. Would you like the same gun, but slightly better? Better explosion radius. No, let's keep let's keep this one and work on the We'll work on that critical rockets. A machine gun. Nah. The shotgun. We'll just, we'll keep what we got. We got a good weapon so far. What if Metroid Prime 4 will be as good as this? I mean, Metroid has a lot of backtracking as well, but this has f like forward tracking, you know? Is there a way to get up there? the gate. It looked like something you'd stick your hand in. And then if they have that red shield around them, you can't shoot them from afar. Hmm. That's a lot of bullets. Oh! 
Thing's actually uh, kind of hard to aim with. That's what what a lot of these enemies do is when they die, and you're congratulating yourself for what you've done. They tend to have like a I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a last last gasp, last last standing. What do they used to call that in Call of Duty? Is your protection. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll... S uh, okay, we unlocked the thing that we have, so... Let's switch over to the pistol. The pistol I like. It... You aim it, and it hits people. I'm simple that way. A self-destruct attack. Yeah, that's what they have. Like Predator, in the movie Predator. So you're, you're really excited, and you're like, Yeah, I beat him! And then... <laughs> they have, like, this big ring of death, or that one had kind of like a, uh, heat-seeking multiple barrage or whatever. I feel like I'm at the disco. Don't blame it on the spotlights. Don't blame it on the robot nights. Blame it on the highlights. Blame it on the boogie. All right, we need to get up and over there, so we need to go around. Just don't want to miss anything. And then there's this blue door over here we didn't do. Well, there'll be plenty of time after for that. Alright, let's turn around. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to some big Hollywood event. All the stars are here! Or uh, trying to escape a jail. Side door. Oh, yeah. Give me that adrenaline, Max. I could use that right now, actually. Oh, boy. Big boys. It was nice of this guy to sort of stay out of the way. Is this... Oh, yeah, those guys. <laughs> that was strange how the that other big one just waited over there. I mean, fine by me, but usually the game doesn't go out of its way to be easier. You've got a shield. Reach that far over there. I guess we'll need some kind of a double jump. So I guess if you did this on the PlayStation 1, every time you come up to one of those doors, they have a door opening scene.
<laughs> what I like about the flying creatures in this game, and uh, that's the second ones that, that do that. They'll line up against you, they give you plenty of time to hit them, but if you panic and you screw up hitting them or you dodge too early, they're gonna get you. So you have to be sort of like cool under pressure to avoid them. Here they come. Son of a bitch! It's a slow tracker. Oh, that was done very poorly. Oh, look at you. Fucking Christ. All right, relax. Stay calm. Look, TIE Fighters. Yeah, I mean, they they practically kill themselves, these robots. You just gotta be cool about it. Oh boy, more of these guys? This is a very big area. Spoiled resin. Okay, what's going on here? So we can either go up towards there, we can head on over, get to where we need to, or there's a chest over there. The gold doors, I mean, they seem like they're the same color as the objective, but they're not the objective. They're a lot brighter. I think they're like challenge rooms or something. And they have a containment gate. So I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. So that thing up there looks like it's blocked by... By our ability, our inability to get through one of those gates. Yeah. I suffer damage while collecting items. Great. Not great. Uh, oh, that's going to be probably like another arena. Alright, well here's some nice stuff. Wow, that has a long range. Oh boy. Son of a bitch! Oh, why am I back? I don't know. <laughs> oh boy 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 <laughs> I guess I should have dodged towards him <sighs> Now the real test do you want to walk all the way back? Also, the computer tells us that there's something in the cargo hold that needs to be removed. I'm really hoping it's going to be herself alive. And it's freaky, but I don't think we can get in there for some reason. Unidentified item in the cargo bay. Removal recommended. Alert. 
attention, this is ready to ship log. Selene here by order to return. Abort the current. Atropos and its scout. Helios not been further. Planetary status required prior to exploration. Your immediate, including acknowledgement and immediate and permanent, whereas neglecting, despite previous willful and blatant, is not. Emily Sanzer started a conversation. Something major happened. It's just another drill. I'm in maintenance. Do you see the white shadow? <laughs> Where's this coming from? The void we're crossing has two galaxies. Has zero galaxies. Remember when we were diverted? I think this was the reason. Which definitely explains why the upper echelon was so evasive. This is a clear message. Maybe it's a stress signal. We have to go. Atropos has been marked. Approach forbidden. We wait for a clearance. I know this. I've heard this before. It's hard to explain. You know the message? What do you mean? Selene? Conduct missions within safe practice guidelines. I have a priority requisition order. I've been assigned my own scout ship. I'd like to have all items transferred from personal storage as soon as possible. Some of the items are fragile. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try one run back. Just to see what that feels like. See if there are any shortcuts or anything. And then... If not, then I'll just end it here. Come back to some Resident Evil. So if you're watching the YouTube bot, I'm going to skip ahead here for your pleasure. So I guess that... Because now you get these areas that have water, the Samarius here with those, um, like, bars that we need to go through. So you're definitely going to be back at Helios over and over and over again. And you're going to be uh, trying to, well, just keep unlocking things. And, and that's going to be what's, I guess, like, the interesting part of it. It just means I have to go all the way back. Actually, there was another door up here. Gonna go all the way back to the Crimson Waste. All the way back to that castle. I know there's a bit of a shortcut there. But it's a lot of backtracking. And then hitting up the house along the way. Looks like you made a turbine. Um, okay. Armor piercing, why not? Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff in there. Whoa! Woohoo! What do we got here? A worse gun. Ooh, key. Booyah. A lot of side stuff. Okay, so these guys, you put your ether in and then when you die, you'll come back to life there. So I guess I could pick up ether along the way and I could... That's kind of like your checkpoint. You just have to pay to use it. So you could make a checkpoint in the Crimson Wastes. There's one. Oh, no, no, yeah, that's never said in the in the movie, all, all women must be destroyed. It's more of like, I feel like he just hates women, he doesn't trust women in the room. So I was imagining him as a, as a video game character saying something like that. The golden coil. Oh, four obelites short. What a bummer. Myriad eyes beholding in the longing dark sunlight as it rains like pitch. We must leave for the wastes where our visions have promised a new kind of transcendence. Glory, 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 glory. You poor bastards. 
So we've got the water, we can't go down. We got those bars, we can't get through. And then we got this yellow something we can't pass through yet. Not gonna happen. So we're gonna be in this area a lot going forward. A friggin' lights on in the house, baby. I wonder what happens here. 